Mouth brooding, also known as oral incubation and buccal incubation, is the care given by some groups of animals to their offspring by holding them in the mouth of the parent for extended periods of time. Although mouth brooding is performed by a variety of different animals, such as the Darwin's frog, fishes are by far the most diverse mouth brooders. Mouth brooding has evolved independently in several different families of fish. Mouth brooding behavior Paternal mouth brooders are species where the male looks after the eggs. Paternal mouth brooders include the arowana, the mouth brooding betta betta pugnix, and sea catfish such as Areopsis felis. Among cichlids, paternal mouth brooding is relatively rare, but is found among some of the tilapiens, most notably the black chin tilapia serothrodon melanotheron. In the case of the maternal mouth brooders, the female takes the eggs. Maternal mouth brooders are found among both African and South American cichlids. African examples are the haplochromines, such as the M. buna, A. statitilapia bertoni, and the dwarf mouth brooders Pseudocrinilabris multicolor, and some of the tilapiens, such as Oreochromus mossambicus and Oreochromus niloticus. The South American maternal mouth brooders are all members of the subfamily Geophagina, commonly known as Ertheaters. On account of their substrate sifting feeding mode, such as Gymnogeophagus balzani and Geophagus steindachneri. Biparental mouth brooding occurs where both parents take some of the eggs. This is relatively rare, but is found among the cichlid genus Xenotilapia, and a single catfish, the spatula barbled catfish. Typus. Typically, after courtship, the male fertilizes the eggs and then collects them in his mouth, holding onto them until they hatch. During this time he cannot feed. Among the maternal mouth brooding cichlids, it is quite common e among the M. Buna, for the male to fertilize the eggs only once they are in the female's mouth. Some cichlids are able to feed while mouth brooding the eggs, but invariably they feed less often than they would otherwise do, and after mouth brooding one batch of eggs, all mouth brooding fish are underweight and require a period of time to feed and make up for the depletion of their energy reserves. In all cases, the eggs are protected until they hatch and the fry become free swimming. Only in some cases does the parent extend protection to mobile juveniles. Among the cichlids and arowanas, extension of brood care to the fry is common, and they have behavioral cues to tell fry swimming and feeding away from the parent that danger is approaching and that they should return to their parent's mouth. By caring for their offspring in this way, mouth brooding fish are able to produce smaller numbers of offspring with a higher chance of survival than species that offer no brood care. Aquaculture Some commercially important fish are mouth brooders, most notably among the tilapiens and arowanas. Fry harvesting, getting the brooding fish to open its mouth and release the fry, is important if the fry are to be reared artificially. In the case of endangered species, such as Asian arowana, harvesting may be supervised by an official to certify that the fish farm is a genuine producer of captive bred fish. Brood parasites some fish have evolved to exploit the mouth brooding behavior of other species. Cynodontus multipunctatus, also known as the cuckoo catfish, combines mouth brooding with the behavior of a brood parasite, it eats the host mouth brooder's eggs, while spawning and simultaneously laying and fertilizing its own eggs. The mouth brooder, typically a cichlid, incubates the cuckoo catfish young, the catfish eggs hatch earlier than the cichlid's eggs, and eat the as yet unhatched cichlid eggs before being set free. Families of mouth brooding fish Families of fish known to include mouth brooding species include Apogonidae, cardinalfish, all paternal mouth brooders, Aridae, sea catfish, all paternal mouth brooders, Bagridae, bagrid catfish, one species of biparental mouth brooders. Cichlidae, cichlids, numerous species are mouth brooders, typically maternal mouth brooders. Occasional paternal mouth brooding, e.g., Serothrodon melanotheron, infrequently biparental mouth brooders, e.g., Eritmodine cichlids. Chanidae, snakeheads, some members of Chana are paternal mouth brooders. Epistignathidae, jawfishes, all paternal mouth brooders. 
Osfromidae, Goramus, a few genera, notably Beta, by far the largest genus, contain or consist entirely of paternal mouthbrooders. Two species of spherichthys are maternal mouthbrooders. Osteoglossidae, Arowanas, some members are paternal mouthbrooders. See also Amblyopsis, a genus of cavefish that brood in the gill chambers Gastric brooding frog, an extinct genus of frog that incubated their eggs in the stomach. References, <references>